You will now hopefully have completed successful retinal surgery. This video will help you know what to do and what not to do in the days and weeks following your surgery. The first day and night of your operation, you will normally have a patch on your eye. This can be removed the morning after the operation and the patch itself does not need to be reapplied. Often within the patch, there will be a plastic shield. If you're worried that you may rub your eye, particularly at night when you're sleeping, you may choose to wear this shield over your eye where the pointy end goes towards the nose. And you can tape this to your face using tape that you buy from the chemist. It's very important that you don't rub your eye and many patients find it more convenient to wear sunglasses when they're outside as this also helps reduce glare and light sensitivity. The day after the operation you may notice that the eyelid is slightly droopy and in most cases this will resolve by itself over one to two days. You will be given some eye drops to use the day after the operation when the patch comes off. And in general, these eye drops are given four times a day, but please check with your surgeon as to what they would like prescribed. It doesn't matter which drop goes in first, but you should wait a few minutes between each drop so that you don't dilute the previous drop which was instilled. To put the drops in, pull down on your lower eyelid and insert one drop uh, into the eye, taking care not to touch the tip of the bottle to your eye. If you think you've missed the eye, feel free to put a second drop in. It's always preferable to keep the drops cool and in a clean place such as uh, the refrigerator in a bag or an esky if you're going outside. In general, the drops should be continued until they're used up or one month, whichever comes earlier. And in most cases, you won't need a second prescription. After vitrectomy retinal surgery, the jelly inside the eye is removed and it's replaced by what we call a tamponade. That tamponade can be various substances such as air, gas, or oil. In general, air will be seen as a small bubble down the bottom part of your vision that normally will dissolve in the first few days after surgery. Gas inside the eye will blur your vision until the gas dissolves, which usually takes anywhere between two weeks and two months after the surgery. For the gas to work, it's very important that you follow your surgeon's instructions as to which way he wants you positioned. Because the gas floats, he or she may want you looking down or sitting up or lying on the side. So it's important to follow these instructions carefully. It's also important to remember that you should never get onto an aeroplane or go to high altitudes uh, whilst you have gas in the eye. And that's because the pressure would uh, increase in the eye and compromise the eye. To remind people that you have gas in the eye, you will have been given a wristband to put on your arm. And it's important to keep this on until your surgeon lets you know that the gas has dissolved and you can remove it uh, from your wrist. Sometimes we put oil into the eye if this is the case, the vision will be blurred whilst the oil is in, but the oil will normally need to be removed at a second operation a few months down the track. After having retinal surgery, it's important to take it easy. You are allowed uh, to watch TV and read and do gentle daily activities unless you've been asked to position in a particular way. The important things not to do are don't rub your eye, don't do strenuous activity such as lifting more than 10 kilograms, and try not to get the eye wet. If you're in the shower, you're allowed to have a shower, but either close the eye or try not to get the water over your face 
or some people like to wear swimming goggles to try to keep the eye dry. Sometimes if the eye gets quite crusted, you may want to clean this gently by using clean boiled water uh, and with a clean cloth to gently wipe around the eye. It's very important not to go swimming for the first one month after the operation as swimming water tends to be very dirty. In general, most patients will take between one and two weeks of work after their retinal surgery and it's important not to drive until any gas bubble in the eye has completely dissolved. You may experience some grittiness or some discomfort in your eye following your eye surgery. If this happens, feel free to take some Panadol or some Nurofen. However, you should not need to take very strong painkillers such as prescription painkillers and you should never put numbing or anaesthetic eye drops into the eye. If you are getting that level of pain, it's very important that you contact your surgeon as soon as possible. Most medications uh, do not need to be stopped for retinal surgery. However, if you did stop any medications uh, for the surgery, um, in most cases you can start these the night after the operation, after the discussion with your doctor. Finally, it's very important if you have any questions or concerns to please contact your surgeon. I always provide my mobile number to patients I've operated on, but you should also be able to contact your surgeon through the clinic that your surgery was booked from.